1888, Simon Newcomb stated that we are probably nearing the limit of all we can know about the cosmos. However, modern day astronomy has proved that the possibilities that exist in space are limitless. Since the invention of high power telescopes, space exploration is definitely more expository than it used to be. Just a few weeks after its launch, the Webb telescope has sent back tons of previously unknown information about the universe. Information which will no doubt cause a paradigm shift in our knowledge of physics. Scientists are concerned about this and you should be too. So watch this video to find out more about the newly discovered galaxy and how its existence could potentially alter our understanding of physics. Astronomers made it their objective to study all the data sent by the Webb Telescope with the hopes of making discoveries that could tell us more about the evolution of the universe. And as expected, they had so much to say. Of all the curious information captured by the Webb Telescope, scientists have found one particularly intriguing, mainly because of how it might redefine some scientific theories. According to the research published a few weeks ago, Rohan Naidu, an astrophysicist based at Smithsonian and Harvard, and his team discovered a distant galaxy located over 30 billion light years away from our Milky Way. This new discovery was made just a few days after the discovery of the Glass Z13 galaxy. Rohan Naidu's team published a paper about the star forming Glass Z13, which sparked the interest of the eager scientific community. This galaxy, and as well as surrounding ones, could be the most distant galaxies ever seen due to their high redshift values. Amidst the fame of the Glass Z13 and Glass Z11 galaxies, Rohan Naidu discovered yet another distant galaxy. The discovery of Sears 1749 and its unusual features quickly took the attention off prior discoveries. Naidu and his colleagues released another preprint paper detailing this new galaxy. With each passing decade, our knowledge of astronomy grows deeper. Telescopes orbiting our planet capture interesting information about space every day. The Sears 1749 is the most recent large-scale discovery made in space, and scientists are constantly trying to unravel the mystery this new galaxy is enshrouded in. Sears 1749 is an exceptionally bright galaxy. In fact, scientists believe that it is the most brilliant galaxy they've ever come across. Astronomers attribute this brightness to the galaxy's low absolute ultraviolet magnitude, MUV. The absolute ultraviolet magnitude represents the brightness of an object when observed at a distance of exactly 10 parsecs. The higher the luminosity of the object, the lower the numerical value of the absolute ultraviolet magnitude. For an object which lies 220 million years after the Big Bang, the degree of luminosity of the Sears 1749 galaxy makes scientists ask questions. As a result, scientists are forced to reconsider the previously given cosmological models. Otherwise, this questions the validity of the Big Bang theory as the best explanation for the existence of the galaxies and the universe at large. Another thing that puzzled astronomers is the stellar mass of this galaxy, especially if this is viewed in relation to the galaxy's age. It was estimated that Sears 1749 has an insane mass of 5 billion solar masses. In other words, the supermassive galaxy is 5 billion times the mass of the Sun. In comparison with other large galaxies, scientists estimate that Sears 1749 is 5 times the size of Glass C13. In fact, our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is negligible when compared with Sears 1749 in terms of size. According to the theories put forward by some scientists, the Sears 1749 is described as a galaxy with an intense burst of star formation activity. However, it is quite odd that for a galaxy as old as scientists claim that it is, the Webb Telescope has never captured any information that supports the theory of the rate of star formation in this galaxy. Other explanations of the origin of the numerous stars and clouds of dust surrounding Sears 1749 might contradict the standard principles that physics uses to explain star formation in the galaxy. This would force scientists to make a major revision to the existing models of earlier galaxies, and even the overall cosmological framework. Yet another mind-boggling characteristic of the Sears 1749 galaxy 
is that the galaxy seems to be very distant, but at the same time it appears to lurk closer to home. In other words, the galaxy appears to be in two possible places, an observation scientists are not quite settled about. However, astronomers are still studying this weird character which they believe will be more explainable with a little more observation. Due to its paradoxical nature, the Sears 1749 galaxy has been dubbed as Schrodinger's Galaxy Candidate, according to a paper submitted to the preprint repository on August 4th. How can we explain Schrodinger's shifting position in the galaxy? There's only one possible explanation, which is the redshift. The Webb telescope works quite differently from the Hubble, and since it's more technologically advanced, the Webb telescope has more impressive features. For example, the Webb telescope can see beyond what light has made visible. This was the main limitation of the Hubble telescope as it could only produce images of what was illuminated by visible light. As for the Webb telescope, it is capable of discerning the invisible thanks to its ability to read and show the wavelength of every cosmic object within its reach. As a result of this ability, astronomers could study the data given for Schrodinger to determine how far it was from our planet and galaxy through the redshift. How does it work? Light waves, which travel at an infinite speed, get stretched over time as they move away from distant galaxies. This stretching directly affects the light's position in the electromagnetic spectrum, thus making them appear more red. The light leaving the Schrodinger galaxy, therefore, does not reach the Earth as ultraviolet light. Instead, it shifts to infrared, which is precisely what the Webb telescope detects. Once the Webb receives the infrared waves, it filters them to the exact infrared wavelength. Schrodinger's case is quite interesting since, as you flick through the first few photos of the galaxy, there are a few traces of red. However, as you proceed, you meet more red with a ghost of galaxies appearing, but the back of the album depicts a clearly defined object. Redshift is represented by the parameter Z. The higher the Z values, the more distant the object. Before the discovery of Schrodinger's galaxy, the furthest galaxy was the glass Z13, which had the Z value of 13. But in the case of the Schrodinger, the research team conclusively agreed that its value reached up to 17. With a distance of over 33.2 billion light years away from Earth, Schrodinger is the farthest galaxy ever discovered. Sears 1749 just might be the oldest galaxy in the universe. However, considering its age, the galaxy should not be as luminous as it is. Therefore, scientists will have to rethink the present models of how the galaxies were formed. The topic of the actual distance of this mysterious galaxy from Earth is another debate between scientists. A team of astronomers suggested that the correct Z value of the galaxy should be estimated at around 5, just like its neighboring galaxies which are about 12.5 billion light years from the Earth. Some other astronomers believe that Schrodinger is merely a satellite of its most giant neighbors. Other scientists came up with a pretty interesting conclusion to explain this galaxy that seemed so near yet so far. Jorge Zavala, an astrophysicist at Alma Japan, and his team concluded that Schrodinger might be another imposter galaxy under the guise of high redshift wavelength when in the actual sense, it is a closer galaxy than it appears. The problem posed by these imposter galaxies is that there are galaxies with redshifts of 5 masquerading as older galaxies. There are many theories to explain these imposter galaxies, most of which are still based on the former physics theories as scientists are reluctant to break off the previously said laws. The first theory explains the reason for the galaxy's high redshift value. It holds that the dust around the galaxy tends to absorb light in blue wavelengths, leaving the red wavelengths to pass. This redness tends to mimic the redness of a galaxy with a higher redshift value. Astronomers have had to deal with quite a number of these masquerading galaxies. This theory is something they successfully figured out with the Sears DSFG1, which they estimated to be about 12.5 billion light years away. Regardless of the riddles they pose, there might be a bright side to the discovery of these imposter galaxies. Discovering the Schrodinger galaxy might help to better understand the history of galaxies, their origin, evolution, and how they became the way they are. 
The challenges the cosmos would present to astronomers and cosmologists are always the best opportunities for them to learn new things about the universe. For example, galaxies such as Schrodinger were previously thought to be rare. Still, as the Webb telescope continues to send new data every other day, physics might be rearranged or previous theories could be dismissed. As Zavala said, if we found a large number of these galaxies with JWST, the observations would start to be in tension with the models. What's the parting shot? The Webb telescope has immensely helped in the study of the intensity of light emitted by Seer 1749. However, there is a need for more observations and research to reach a conclusive answer about the galaxy's position and therefore its redshift value. The information we have now is all there is and there are still so many unanswered questions. It might take some time but science will definitely provide us with a much better explanation. What's your take? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to see more videos about space and lost galaxies, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on notifications. Thank you for watching, we'll see you next time.